everyone, I'm Lynn Hughes and I'm here on this exciting day. It's a holiday, so it's fitting that we're together. Halloween, happy Halloween everybody, but it's more than just a holiday. It is our post wrap up to our national, our first ever national virtual 5K. It's been quite a success. It's exceeded expectations. It's really an incredible event, so we're so excited. You did it, did you do it, did you finish it? Lots of you have already finished it. We started back in August. Kelly and I have been running. We ran our 5K, we do hills. So we got our hills in this morning, but we're so proud to be a part of it. Hun, talk about the, the overwhelming success of this event nationally. It's been just incredible. Well, I know we've had hundreds and hundreds of participants. I know we're knocking on the door of 1,000. That is incredible. As you mentioned, it started back in August, and today is a celebration to commemorate this amazing event. Lynn, let's talk a little bit about the event. Um, my first question, why virtual? I know we've had the 5K in person, why virtual now? Yeah, so this is the year of the pivot, right? And, and Comfort Zone has been pivoting all year long. We've pivoted with our camps, going from in person when COVID happened to virtual. And the same thing with uh, most of our traditional fundraising events, they've all, they were all supposed to be in person. Typically we have a, have a 5K in each region of the country where we hold camps and we knew that it was too important to let this event go, so we got creative. We got this great national committee that came together with volunteers from across the country, and they said, we're gonna make this happen. We can still do the, the Grief Relief 5K, but we're gonna do it virtually. And when they, they came together as this team, it was just incredible that we have, we have again, you said it, we're almost a thousand people throughout the country supporting Comfort Zone Camp. It's just amazing. And then they came together to fundraise and the fundraising has been incredible that we've got new donors national donors local donors we have dogs who are walking and running Amazing. and donating basically mm -hmm. um, so it's incredible we've raised a hundred and forty thousand dollars so we are just so excited to share that with you and just well done everyone well done what do you think the best part of the virtual aspect has been I think it's definitely people came together who would not have normally met and from the committee working together to forming teams uh, together um, normally this is kind of you show up and it's, it's a much smaller group we might get anywhere from 200 to 250 people and so uh, per 5k so we've exceeded that virtually so just more people have been touched more people have been made it way aware of comfort zone camp and the needs of grieving children and we're gonna send more kids to camp because we were forced to pivot and get resilient and creative and look what we came up with. You mentioned we have pivoted. It has been an amazing success. We are so excited for this day on Halloween nonetheless. So if you've run your race, congratulations. If you haven't, get out there and do it. And with that, we're sending it to the amazing Krista Coffee in New Jersey. Take it away, Krista. Hey, Krista. Thanks, Lynn and Kelly. Hi guys, my name's Krista and I'm the Regional Program Manager in New Jersey. <laughs> and I'm so excited to come to you with um, some exciting team and fundraising updates. This year has been amazing for the Grief Relief 5K. We've come together from coast to coast, from the Northeast to the Midwest to the West Coast. We've all come together to help raise critical funds for Comfort Zone Camp. Over in the Northeast, where I'm at, in Jersey, we have the big dogs coming in from Jersey. Up in Massachusetts, we've got six Roys and more. Over down in Virginia, we've got campfires and cabin time. And down in Florida, we even got Team Mojo. Over in the Midwest, there's Madison uh, Capital Funding, uh, and they are in Chicago. And then over in Utah, we've got the New York Life Office over there. And then over in the West Coast, we even have AJ's Extraordinary Beings out in California. Now that's just a few of the teams that are registered because we have 60 teams registered for the Grief Relief 5K this year. Phenomenal. Throughout the country, uh, as part of those teams and individuals, over 800 people are hashtag run, walk, remembering for Comfort Zone Camp. It's so powerful to see all of these people come together. And as Liv and Kelly mentioned, everyone is raising critical funds to provide grief programming to grieving children, completely free of charge. And I've got to hand it to the teams 
to the teammates, to the individuals, and to those sponsors. Because, guys, we set the goal high. We set our goal so high to raise $100,000 for Comfort Zone Camp. And guess what, guys? We crushed it. And we wound up bringing in way over $100,000. This is how much we raised. <laughs> Got to celebrate and play Eye of the Tiger, right? It's always so good. But that money truly and that big number really means a lot to Comfort Zone Camp. It allows us to serve more grieving children. And as a former camper myself, I have been able to grow so much from attending Comfort Zone's programs. And I'm proud that we are going to be able to help more grieving children learn how to grieve, heal, and grow in healthy ways. So whether you've completed your 5K today or you did it a while ago, you can continue to raise money and celebrate with us. So go ahead and grab your fundraising link and share it. Text it to a friend, share it on social media, or even email it, blast it out to your family and friends and celebrate all the success that we've had. The Comfort Zone Camp website for the Grief Relief 5K is going to be collecting donations for one more week. So keep spreading the word and let's help, let's have us help even more grieving children. So go ahead, share and post about you about why you hashtag run walk remember. I run walk remember for my mom Sandy Dooley, uh, along with all my little buddies, uh, loved ones. I run walk for my grandfather, uh, Woody Gross, you know, with everybody in, in Comfort Zone Camp or who's waiting to get in Comfort Zone Camp. It's the local ones. We are running in memory of my father, um, Jeff Wild, and that is why our name is The Wild Bunch. We are running. See, I told you I would cry. <laughs> we are running in memory of our son who unexpectedly passed away. Um, it'll be six years ago this year, um, the day after his second birthday. And so it was an awful, awful, and grief is always awful, but it was really traumatizing. And the people who are running with us are the people who have been, been there grieving with us every step of the way. Ever since I started volunteering years ago and at all the camps I've been to, um, the, the one constant at every camp, at every location, no matter the weather, no matter, no matter the location, um, the time of year, the part of the country, none of it matters. What was always that constant was the kids, um, the kids in their grief and grief doesn't know geography. It just knows their hearts and to be there for them at camp. And to see them be there for each other is, it's simply incredible. I decided to participate in the Comfort Zone Grief Relief because our daughter has benefited immensely, our oldest daughter has benefited immensely from the supports that Comfort Zone has put into place through the uh, in-person camp and the virtual camp. Um, we feel like it's a really worthwhile program and especially with what's going on in the country there are going to be more children that need this support i am participating because i know what it's like to be that little that needs these programs and i want to make sure that these programs stay available to both the kids in california and the kids like all over the country i think comfort zone camp is important because it, it's like a way to uh, like connect with other people who have had the same experience and feelings you have. And I think that's pretty important. I'm for some camp to make new friends and also to help me, um, also to help me um, learn how to express my feelings with um, people around me who care about me. I feel comfortable talking to the other people at the camp because I know that they know what it's like to go losing someone and some people have lost them like five years ago and some have lost them like a, um, their loved ones like a couple months ago but I still like I still feel comfortable sharing it with them because they still 
have lost someone that they love? I, uh, I decided to start a team and one of my ideas, I, I've, since I've been volunteering with Comfort Zone for so long, I have uh, had the privilege of forming some cool relationships with some of my little buddies, some lasting relationships. And so I thought it would be neat to form a team around um, some of my uh, previous little buddies that I've had. Um, and we can kind of do something together. Uh, so I think solidarity, solidarity is important. Uh, so I thought we could do something together to honor all of our loved ones. I'm so excited and proud to take part this year as I try to do every year. Um, this year I've decided that I'm going to do a 5K a day um, to raise money for Comfort Zone Camp and to remember somebody special on each and every day. Um, I've been doing this since August 23rd and the hope is to get all the way to October 31st. Um, it's been a pretty tremendous experience, if I'm being honest. Um, thinking about somebody in particular on each day and then writing about them um, has been great. It really has helped me connect with a lot of different people in my life that I've lost. And I find it to be um, quite a healing experience. I've been involved with Comfort Zone Camp as a volunteer for about 11 years now. I've performed various roles from Big Buddy to volunteer council member. I've been to over 75 camps. I guess you could say it's become my passion. The appeal and the perk of doing a virtual 5K, in addition to it benefiting a wonderful organization, you can do it wherever you want, you can do it however you want, and you can do it with however you want. Normally, like, if you were to go to an in-person 5K, you have to be in a certain city at a certain time on a certain day. And the pandemic, none of that's necessary so like the reason i'm signing up my dog because when me and my sister walk outside in the morning ready for a walk he's gonna think like oh we're doing something let's go whereas my aunt is also registered but she doesn't want to walk three miles at once so for her we're gonna do a mile a day that weekend and she's still gonna get her three miles in because it's virtual you can complete it however you want normally we do these things in person in locations all across the country but this year it's virtual um, and all that means is that it's happening in more locations all across the country. It's happening wherever you are. The biggest pro for us is that this year we have a team. You know, since we're not constrained to run in person, I was able to get our friends and family from all over the country um, to help join us together as a team and fundraise together. And so we're running with four other people who are part of our family. And um, we wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't virtual. Welcome back on this incredible celebration of our 5K. And Lynn, I know that we've had almost a thousand people it's run. Incredible. This, so there's no doubt about well it. Well done, everybody. And we have some amazing community partners and sponsors. Talk about those. Yes, we do have amazing sponsors for this event. And this doesn't happen without all of you. So we're so grateful. We especially want to give a big shout out, Kelly, to Alta Marino mm -hmm. Consulting. They've been our presenting sponsor for five years, which is incredible. Big shout out, Dave, thank you so much. And we have, when you get the shirt, these awesome shirts are coming your way, all you thousand participants, and all the sponsors are listed in the back. So uh, we've got H Mart, we've got Luster, we've got McGeorge Toyota, we've got MBNC, just to name a few, but check all those out. We're so grateful to all of you for making a difference in the lives of Comfort Zone Camp and grieving children. And we have raised a lot of money from this event. Lynn, talk a little bit about what that money does for our organization. I'm so happy that we have this wonderful support because it allows us to do more camps and help more kids. As you know, Comfort Zone Camp was created free of charge because we didn't ever want cost to be a barrier. So for 21 years, that's been the case, and we get to move forward with that still being the case. So our traditional camps, money will go towards that because we're, we're planning on being back at camp in 2021. Yes. Virtual camps will continue when the year of the pivot, we, we went from traditional and figured out how to do camps safely and from, from your home, and the virtual camps have been a big success. We are also piloting family camps. So we are in the process and envision doing those very soon where uh, families come together and we do a parent and a kids program and uh, we look forward to that model being incubated and being launched very soon. And all of these funds go towards all of those resources and all the other great resources that Comfort Zone has. You're joining us on our 5K celebration wrap up and what a day it is. 
And right now, we're going to toss it back to Krista up in New Jersey. Thanks, Lynn and Kelly. So impactful to hear about how those funds are going to be really impacting a grieving child's life when they come to Comfort Zone Camp. And throughout the country, we have all registered and we're run walking and remembering together. But we all have our own person that we want to honor and remember. And so we've put together the ribbons of remembrance. And we're going to get to honor and celebrate the lives of people that, you know, we hold so closely in our hearts. And as we watch this Ribbons of Remembrance, we're going to get to listen to a pretty special Comfort Zone Camp song. This song is called It's Okay to Remember. This song is played at our camp programs, and it's actually our very special tradition because it was a song that was written by campers for campers. And it talks about all the feelings that come with remembering someone. The sadness, the joy, the happiness, and just all those good memories. And so we hope that you enjoy this Ribbons of Remembrance as we honor all of our family members that we miss and love and hold dearly in our hearts. It's okay to remember, it's okay to believe, it's okay to cry, and it's okay to grieve. Here within this circle that we call our own, it's okay to remember, cause you are not alone. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to heal Everyone will understand the way that you feel Here within this circle that we call our own It's okay to remember Cause you are not alone Color me red, orange, yellow It's okay to remember as you go your way All the colors of the rainbow go with you every day And here within this circle that we call our own It's okay to remember cause you are not alone Color me It's okay to remember as you go your way All the colors of the rainbow go with you every day And here within this circle that we call our own It's okay to remember cause you are not alone Yeah, it's okay to remember cause you Wow, I love listening to that song and seeing all of the people that we hold close in our hearts and who are run walking and remembering. It's so beautiful. You can download that song completely for free at comfortzonecamp.org and visit our company store. I love it, I have it on my cell phone and I always play it whenever I you know, wanna feel a little closer to Comfort Zone Camp. And you know what I think I really want right now? is I really wish I had some sort of cute little dog or cat or, you know, stuffed animal to just snuggle up with. 
And actually, our four-legged family members have been a huge part of the Grief Relief 5K. We have almost 100 four-legged family members registered, and those guys are going to be sporting these sweet bandanas. So make sure you get yours and check your post because it's coming soon. So let's get ready for the cuteness and check out all of these awesome and adorable four-legged family members. Hey guys, I'm Daniel and we are the Grief Relief 5K Committee and we are so excited to announce our contest winners. Woo! Woo! And welcome back on this special day as we celebrate our 5K celebration. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has participated in making this such a major success. And by the way, I know today is the event that we're actually running the race. Some of you may have already run it, but we still have more time to raise money, and that's November 7th. So if you still have money after today, uh, no, November 7th is the deadline. And we can do a few more hills before then. Absolutely. We can get out there and do a little more running, a little more raising us some money. I know we have some shout outs to some people who really made this event happen. Absolutely. I also want to echo Kelly's thanks to everyone across the country who participated, all 1,000 of you. So grateful. We're also really grateful to our National 5K Committee. It was chaired by Craig Hia mm -hmm. and Megan Wolfgang. You guys are amazing. amazing. You've been chairing 5Ks for a long time. Caitlin Fabricini, Joe Mastro, representing New Jersey, Joe Harold, representing Massachusetts, Ryan Kuster, Daniel Wright, Richmond, Richmond Strong, AJ Johnson, California, huge team out in California, Andrew Dooley, Patrick Nunn, representing North Carolina. Anyways, you guys are just amazing and pulled off this incredible national event. So thank you all so very much. And that's going to do it. That's our wrap-up show. I got one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. When you get your shirts, put them on, tag us, take a picture, and tag us at Comfort Zone Camp. Show us your shirts. Show us all your, your faces from coast to coast. And by the way, happy Halloween. So long, everybody. <laughs>